Okay, hey, so we're going to talk about the snare bell combo kit now in terms of equipment that you can purchase for this class. This is a great product that really sets you up to start learning both snare and keyboards simultaneously, which is what I really recommend for a, a percussionist to do is to learn the snare and the keyboards kind of at the same time. So you don't get too far along in, the, in, in one category and then sort of have to catch up with the next. So here we go. Uh, several companies have this type of products, but this is today I'm going to showcase the Pearl. And this is a combo, combination, snare, bell kit uh, backpack. It's got a uh, rolling ability. So that's a super great function, right, is to be able to roll that, get in and out uh, really easily of class or the car, the bus, whatever you need to. It just makes it really handy to have that on a roller. All right? So... Uh, how this works is a little different than the snare backpack. The snare is actually in the front component. Okay? So I'm going to unzip this, and I'm going to pull out my snare. This snare is a little smaller than the snare backpack. Um, it's a 13-inch, and I think it's 4, uh, four inches, or 3 by 5. So beautiful starter drum as well. Okay, so that's where the snare fits. Put that over here. Now, zip it back up. So the, this portion unzips this way, and we're going to open it up. All right, and there's the inside. We've got a practice pad right here. And then the snare, uh, the stands go in this, this pocket right here. I hope you can see that, that little side pocket right here. That's where all the hardware, we call this stuff hardware, okay? So that's where this all fits. It breaks down, collapses, and it all fits there. We've got a little pocket for snare sticks and mallets right here. And then the bell kit sits large to small uh, here behind that flap. Okay, and you can stick a, it's great, you can put your music folder in there too if you want. All right, so I'm going to close that back up. All right, so that's the snare uh, bell kit combo. If you've watched the first video, you'll see there's a lot of similarities, right? So let's start with the bell kit. So we have a base uh, stand. This actually is the base for both the bell kit, it's universal, and the snare kit, okay? So we've got the base. I'll just go over that real quick. Um, we have these three legs here. We're going to unscrew this just a little bit. Remember, we don't want to unscrew all the way and take these things out. They're hard to keep up with. They fall out sometimes. So just enough that everything opens. All right, so we open that up. We don't want to be too small, right? It'll be unstable, nor do we want to go all the way down. We just kind of want to have a wide base and make sure that's a little snug. Okay, I like to put the sing a single one out and the two flat to my body because it just gives me a, my feet a, play, a little bit of a place to go, okay? Um, so I'm not like trying to stand around a, a, a post. So I'm going to put that together and then the, set that down for a second, the snare, this is the keyboard basket bed, if you, want, if you will. I'm going to unscrew this and then this has four prongs. That just open up. We're going to put that all the way down. We'll make that flat here. Now there's a screw right here, but this is for the practice pad. So don't be confused looking for a screw for the bell kit. Now these uh, are different lengths. These are short right here and long on this side. So for the bell kit, the long ones are going to go to your left because the bell kit is bigger on this side. And the short ones are gonna go to your right. So it's important to get that s straightened out. And we're gonna thread that in. We'll adjust the height as we go. Of course, I'd be doing this all on the ground. I'm just trying to make sure you see it all. Firm that up a little bit. All right, now we're ready to go. So we take our bell kit. I can already see I need to raise this. I'm gonna do that first. It's because there's not as much depth to a bell kit that there is a snare stand. All right, here we go. All right, take our bell kit. The bigger end here is going to sit on those longer arms, all right? And we basically just lay it down in there. You can center 
There is a screw hole here that you can center right over the screw, and then it should lay in the basket and be pretty stable, okay? All right, so that's our bell kit. It comes with mallets. We'll talk about that later, okay? Another great function, if you don't own a music stand, for the bell kit is this, like, bell liar. So see how I open that up? You know, all right, and then these prongs right here go into, there's these little receivers right here. And we can just set that down on that. And now we can set our music right on that. So it's really close, which is helpful because when you start playing bells, you, wanna, you want your music close to your instrument. So you can use a lot of peripheral vision um, to look at the music and sort of be able to see all of the, the kit, um, all the notes simultaneously. All right, then we take that off and we just collapse it like that. All right, and that would go in our hardware, uh, our hardware pocket as well. Okay, so now we've practiced bells, learning to read notes, and we're gonna just keep our bass. We'll take our at this screw, we'll unscrew, take this keyboard uh, basket out. Remember to hold on to both parts. All right, we're taking that out. If we need to and we're going to anticipate traveling, we can collapse that back up. Or actually, excuse me, it collapses down. Snare beds collapse up. We're going to firm that up so we don't lose that wing nut. All right, here we go. We're going to unscrew this first. It has this circular uh, sort of rotary mechanism. We can unscrew that so that we can open this up. All right, we're going to make that straight and screw that back down. All right, so this will thread into the base of the, other, the stand, and we'll guess at our height for right now and firm that up. Uh, then we can open up our basket like we did before. There we go. Needed to be. All right. And then our, um, if our snare fits here just fine, great. If we need it to be a little more open, we can pull this screw and open that up. Or if we need it to be more closed, we can set it where we want and then place this, screw that, so then it holds it in place. So I'm going to guess where that snare is about right here. All right. Maybe a little more. A little trial and error to start. Okay, I've got my pearl snare. All right. Also, uh, in the setup, right now, we could, it's interesting, I would probably adjust this. But the pearl logo and the pearl head would suggest it goes on like this, right? But I like to set my drum up so that the snares, this is why it's called a snare drum, the snare bed is vertical to my body and the throw what turns the snares on and off right here. When it's up, they're on. When it's down, they're off. I want that right in front of my belly button, really, right there. All right, so I've got a couple things to adjust right now. I've got to straighten this out. It's a little, it's leaning one way. So this thing, this mechanism right here, I unscrew that and I can adjust that part to make it flat and a little more level. Okay, and I felt like uh, my prongs were just a smidge too high. So let's adjust that. Of course, I wouldn't normally lift that up off the ground. I'm just trying to make sure you see everything. I've got my snare throw right there. That's going to go right in front of my belly button. Still need a little micro adjustment to get it flat. And there we go. Okay. Now, if it bothers you that your snare head label is off center, we can, when I talk about tuning, I'll show you how you can kind of adjust all that and we can slide it back. Okay. So we've got our snare and we're ready to go. All right, so then we practice our snare drum. We put it all back together in reverse. We take the snare off and it goes into this pocket. 
right? I'm going to not do that right now. And then we take our, we've unscrewed here. We've got our snare basket that's going to collapse this way. All right, then we're going to unscrew here at the little circular rotating thing, and we're going to collapse this way. Now we've got it nice and collapsed and small, and it'll fit right down in those pocket. We've already collapsed our, our mallet one. Remember, it went down instead of up. Remember that it went, um, where's it? Sorry, got to unscrew that. Our, so our mallet basket sat flat, and then when we wanted to collapse it, it collapses down. Don't forget to unscrew that. All right, and we've got our base unscrew. This is going to move up. This portion moves up and collapses this way. Okay, so now we have our three pieces of hardware plus our music uh, lyre stand. All right, so what we would do, we would start with, I would start with putting the bell kit in first here. All right, and then, or you can put your music back there. All right, then put your stands in that pocket. All three stands will fit in that pocket. Then we'll close that up, zip it up, and then we'll unzip and put the snare in, or your snare may already be in there from when you took it down the first time. Okay, so I hope that's a, a little introductory example of uh, that Combination Pro Backpack, what's super cool is it comes with lots of little printable downloads, talks about basic tuning and adjustment, some general care, gives you an awesome rudiment sheet in there, talks even about snare drumming stroke types, full down, tap up, which we're going to learn through this whole course. So nice little downloads that come um, with the snare kit as well. All right, so that's the Pearl Combination Snare Bell Kit. Super cool, guys. All right, go on to the next, and let's get started.